first thing I'm going to try to duplicate are these, um, I guess we're going to call them Ballnut Stop Blocks. I don't know what the Harbor Freight guys called them, but this threaded bore has to fit our ball nuts, which according to uh, Roton where I got these, this is supposed to be a 15 16 thread, which is a really unusual tap. So I was trying to find one. I looked on Enco and they're $80, $90. It's a bunch of places that are really expensive. But then I found this guy, uh, I just looked on eBay. I found this guy on eBay. He had this set of taps. There's a, I don't know, 10, 12 taps here, all different sizes. They go from pretty small. But I got all of these for $21 and included in that was, was a 15 16 16 pitch thread tap. I looked in my, uh, I've got one of these uh, old machinist handbooks. I looked in there and it doesn't have this tap in there. It's got a, a 15 16 9, but not a 16. But if you measure the inside of those threads, that's just, I'll tell you, 7 8 is 8 7 5. So I mean, that's right at a 7 8, which I do have 7 8 drill bit. So, and it's, it is going to be aluminum, so it's not going to be real hard to tap. So, I don't have any uh, stock this exact thickness in aluminum. This is coming out at uh, 641, which this thickness isn't super critical. The um, height on, on the X, it does matter because that's the reason the top is rounded on the X. It's got to fit within the, um, the table. So all the, the height will have to stay close to that. This one, there's really no reason for it to be rounded. This hangs down below the chassis or whatever, the bottom piece of the mill. So I, I don't, I'm not going to bother rounding that. I'm, I'm not sure why the Harbor Freight guys did, but so anyway, I got some uh, some one inch aluminum. That's the closest I could find. I'll, I'll just have to mill the thickness down. I think I'm going to do all my boring on these uh, before I cut anything out. That way I've got an easy way to hold it in a vise. And before I start laying out my parts, uh, of course this piece of uh, aluminum was kind of given to me as a scrap piece. So you had just a rough saw cut in on there and mm -hmm. I had made a pass on there to make sure I've got a perfectly square clean edge to start with before I do my layout. Now work your way up through your drill bits uh, up to seven eighths. That's what I got in there right now. And now we'll try that 15 16 tap to see if it'll actually work on this uh, 7 8 inch pilot hole. All right, I've got my tap all uh, oiled up with thread cutting lube. Um, a, a 5 8 box in wrench fits over that real good. And this is an old trick that if you don't use it, you need to learn to. I've got a, is a broken end mill that I've ground to a, a point. There's a hole on the end of these taps. That's what it's for. Keep pressure down with your spindle. That keeps everything square. I never moved my table once I drilled my hole, so I know I'm in the exact spot I need to be. Now it's just a matter of working this tap through there. I'll switch to a ratcheting wrench after a little while. I was going too slow the other way. Well, all right, I'm through. And here's one of the ball screws, or ball nuts. I keep saying, I'm getting those two mixed up. Let's see if they'll go in there. Yeah, like a glove. I'm just gonna chop this piece off in the bandsaw, and then I'll fix my thickness problem back at the mill. take this to the mill I'll uh, face off this saw cut side to get my width exactly right All right. got the width down right 
now we need to take this down to, um, I think it was supposed to be 625. I'll check my notes.